It's very important to understand how the bonus items affect the final grade in a points grade book when you're not putting the, the item into a category. The bonus items in a points grade book are s simply added on top of the total possible points the students have received. So it's very important that you make sure to add the number of extra credit points that you want the students to earn. In other words, if you put like 100 points for that extra credit, that is 100 points more extra credit. So you have to be very conscious of how many points you're putting in there and what you want to use for extra credit. So let me show you what I'm talking about here, and I think it'll help a lot better if you can see it visually. If I go to the Enter Grades area, I've added an extra credit bonus item that's worth five points. So you'll notice that this student right now has a calculated final a grade of 44 out of 60. So this is total points. And what it's doing here is it's taking how many total possible points um, that have been graded divided by how many total possible po how many points the students have got has received. So you'll notice that some of these items like the midterm and this homework are not counted into the numerator here. But the bonus item is sitting here outside of a category, which doesn't have to be in a category. And I'm going to go ahead and grade all. And I'm going to give the student five points. And so the student had 44, so the numerator is going to change, but the denominator is not going to change. I'm going to go ahead and click Save and click Yes. And when I click Cancel on this, I know that seems silly, but I now have the student has 49 points. So five points have been added. So again, you have to be really conscious of how many points you're putting in for extra credit in a points gradebook, because it's just going to simply add those points to the numerator and not affect the denom denominator and boost up the student's grade. Now, keep in mind that as other grades get added to this gradebook, for example, in homework two, if I start putting grades in here and this is 20 points, that 20 points then gets added, put into the denominator, so now it's going to be out of 80. So if the student goes in here, and I'm going to click grade all, and let's just say the student gets, let's say, a 12 out of 20 here, and I click save. And I say yes. What do you think is going to happen with the student's grade? Well, it's going to be affected. Um, it's going to go down than what it was because now the student got a 60% here. Even though they have this extra bonus points, those are still counted into the grade because normally if we would add up the total points a student has without the extra credit points, the student would have uh, 56 points. And, but now because of this extra credit, it does give the student a little boost in the grade. But because I've now added this grade, then that affects the denominator and affects the overall grade also. So again, it's just very important to keep in mind that when you're putting points into a, an extra credit into a points grade book, that you're very conscious of how many points you're, you want to give the students as extra credit.